day I wear thee. With my body I worship thee. With my body I worship thee. With all my worldly property. With all my worldly property. I for thankful. And thou you. And thou you thank the matters. For as long as the two of us shall live. For as long as two of us shall live. Amen. Amen. Clap for him. For this purpose shall a man leave his father and mother and cling unto his wife. This was the case of Paul Tanko, who cling to his wife Charity Marcus at the marriage registry Abuja Municipal Area Council. The couple who exchanged vows before the registrar and witnesses were further advised to keep the vow of one man, one wife, as well as love and respect for each other. If in any case you want to have another marriage with another partner, you must get the existing one to solve it because of law, with a concrete treatment of that law, not minor reason. And only, only high court that can separate the marriage. Love them, take care of them, don't look at anything. Cook for your husband, don't allow your husband to be going from one joint to the other, mama. The wedding train later moved to Nike Art Gallery, Piwoi Abuja, for the reception. The parents of the couple and friends of both families expressed their joy and felicitation. The thing of joy, because right from creation, God has made man and woman to be joined together. That they should love themselves, because anything without love, it will not stand. It's a very, very joyful day for me. My advice to them, let that be the obedience to the husband, and the husband let, let the husband be the lover of his wife. I feel very, very happy. My advice, just to advise her as I knew her, the way her attitude, let her continue on that way, so that God will bless her. I have nothing to say to them, rather to thank them. It is only God that will reward them. Charity is um, a quiet person who keeps to herself, but she's a very dutiful person. The patients respect her husband. Both, both of them should have mutual respect for one another. A colleague of Charity Marcos, my sincere prayer is to ensure that the marriage succeed, is to ensure that Charity and the husband see their children and their children's children. My advice to her is that she should know that marriage is not something you do with impatience. She needs a lot of patience. She needs a lot of understanding. And I pray that God will give her that spirit of understanding and patience. I would advise the couple to tolerate one another, be patient, and understand themselves in whatever they're doing. She should be open, she should be straightforward, just the way she is. She should love her husband and just be here. Marriage has its ups and downs, but I know she will have a wonderful home because she's a very wonderful person. I've come to know the couples for a while. They are wonderful couples and I know they will make very great family. As the celebrants and the groom and pastor, I'm celebrating with them. I'm wishing them God's favor, God's blessing, God's protection and luck life. I wish them all the best of luck in their marriage, God's blessings, God's multiplication, God's prosperity, God's health upon them. The couple gave gratitude to God, their parents, friends and colleagues in these words. All I can say is that he's humble, he's simple, he's caring, above all he's God-fearing. All I can say is I give glory to God, I thank God for everything, for keeping me alive and giving me the opportunity to see this wonderful day. This is a one-time, uh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I thank God. And for those who are praying to God for this opportunity, God should also grant them the opportunity. Better and nice. <laughs> it was the will of God for us to know each other and to come together. I would advise those who are still willing to and planning ahead to get married, to have patience and also trust in God because he's the author and the finisher of our faith.